Hi everyone, it's another vlog episode of Marvin Says. And uh, for today's episode, it's not about car vlogging or uh, unboxing. But it's basically all about uh, the features of the uh, Xbox Series S. No, the three things that I like about the uh, Xbox Series S. Okay, so nandito lang ako sa akin ngayon. Uh, mas uh, tahimik kasi dito compared sa sa bahay. Okay, so without further ado, pag-usapan na natin. Okay, so 5 days ago I received my uh, personal unit of the Xbox Series S, no? Uh, and uh in my channel, I, I gave my first impressions and uh, after 5 days of, you know, playing with it, uh, using it, okay, I will be telling you the, uh, the advantages or uh, the nifty features that I liked about the console. Okay, so umpisa na natin. The number one feature, of course, it's the uh, quick resume. Okay, yung quick resume, no? Let's say you're playing four sa seven, and then nagsawa ka na, no? You want to try or play a different game. You want to play Gears Four, no? Quick resume means you can uh, toggle with games, no? In an instant. Ibig sabihin walang loading times, no? Yun yung quick resume. Uh, pwede kang palipat-lipat ng games, okay? nang hindi ka nagaantay ng sobrang tagal. Well, actually the the waiting the waiting game is like 2 seconds, 3 seconds uh maximum, no? So it's like in an instant. Kaya nga quick resume. Eh. Bakit bakit nagkaroon ng quick resume ang Xbox Series S? It's because of the SSD, no? Alam naman natin ang SSD mabilis yan compared to uh, the hard disk driver, the HDD. So hindi na tayo uh, hindi na kaila sa mga PC users ang HDD at SDD. Almost uh, PC manufacturers are using the SDD no? uh, instead of the HDD. Again, it's because of the loading times. No? Mas mabilis mag-boot up ang SDD. And that's the reason why nagkaroon ng quick resume ang Xbox Series S. It's because of again, it's SDD. Alright, that's the number one feature. Uh, quick resume lets you toggle to, uh, to games that uh, you like to play in an instant. Okay? Bubukas yun in an instant. Okay, number two, uh, instant on. Okay, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, no? Or sa mga may alam na, ang, ang Xbox Series S, may dalawang power modes yan. Okay? The first one is uh, energy saving. And then the second one is instant on. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng isa't isa? Okay, pag energy saving ang uh, pinili mo for the power mode, no? The Xbox Series S unit will turn off completely, no? And then when you boot it up, no, matatagalan siguro by 20 seconds uh, for the boot up. Okay? At the same time, with the energy saving uh, option selected, no, yung uh, updating at downloading ng games it's not possible kasi you turned off completely the unit. Okay? As opposed to, ito na, pag instant on ang pinili natin as the power mode, no? Game updates, no? Game downloading, no? While the unit is off, no? Will actually uh, work on the sides. Okay? At the same time, ang boot up niyan, siguro mga 5 seconds lang, no? from uh from uh its uh off state okay so instant on mabilis ang boot up mga 5 seconds and then game updates game downloads will happen okay kahit na nakapatay yung unit all right while the energy saving no instant uh walang game updates on the on the side walang game downloads on the side the unit is uh completely turned off but, ang binibigay sa atin ng energy saving mode is actually mas matipid sa electricity. Okay, kung nagtitipid tayo, then, and you don't care about, you know, uh, game downloads or game updates, energy saving ang pipiliin natin. Or, even the boot up, no? 20 seconds boot up time ang sabi. Uh, 
energy saving is the mode for you. But, kung gusto mo nang nagtatrabaho yung unit on the side and you don't care about your electricity bills, no? Uh, instant on. Okay, that's basically maximizing the power of the unit itself, the Xbox Series S. Alright, so, uh, the third one, ito yung gusto ng lahat, it's the Game Pass. Okay, dalawang klase yung Game Pass. You have the standard, which is Game Pass, and then the other one is the Game Pass Ultimate. Alright, so when you actually start up your console, kung wala pa kayong account, then you need to create a Microsoft account, no? Hindi ko alam kung may promo pa ngayon ng Game Pass uh, Ultimate or Game Pass. Basta a dollar lang and then you'll be getting uh, three months worth of uh, Game Pass no? at, a, at a dollar. Okay, but the thing is after uh, the three months have expired, then recur, uh, recurring billing na yun sa kung ano mang ilalagay yung uh, bank details. Okay, debit or credit card. Alright, uh, Game Pass, right? Ano yung Game Pass? Game Pass, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, no? Siya yung parang Netflix ng games, alright? Lahat ng games from the OG Xboxes to the Xbox 360 to Xbox One and then to the Xbox Series S or X games, release games, nasa Game Pass Ultimate, no? Malalaro nyo lahat, ready on the fly for you to download. Alright? Uh, one good thing about the Game, game Pass Ultimate, no? Yung mga Microsoft exclusives, o da download nyo kaagad yan without you paying for the game itself, no? Uh, yun yung maganda. Actually, alam mo parang nag-video okay, you don't know how, you don't know what to play anymore. No, that's what I've experienced with Game Pass Ultimate and made me smile. To be honest, I own the PS4 Pro. Uh, iba yung PS, PS Plus, iba yung experience, no? Sa PS Plus or uh, PS Now. Uh, mas stable ang uh, Game Pass no the the internet or basta yung bilis ng Game Pass service mas maganda compared to the PlayStation 4 no so yun yung lamang uh, siguro ng Microsoft no for uh, their uh, consoles the series consoles compared to the PlayStation uh, it's the exclusives talaga all right so both maganda ang uh, dalawang consoles, Sony or Microsoft. But the thing is, uh, mas lalo kung, tama yung sinasabi nila eh, you, when you sit down on the couch, no, mas, and then you have two consoles. No? You have, kunyari, meron kang PS5 no, or the Xbox Series S or X. Mas gusto mo yung Series S or X eh, kasi on the fly, andun eh, ang bilis. No? At the same time, if you're uh, using an Xbox Series X, then definitely yung power nun mas maganda. But, you know what? Regardless kung ano yung gamit nyo, Series X or Series S, dun sa features na sinabi ko, meron yun sa dalawa. Alright? Magkakatlo lang kung anong TV nyo. Okay? So, in-explain ko rin dun sa last vlog ko na kung bakit ko pinili yung Series S. Okay? So, uh, overall, you know what? I'm satisfied with the uh, Series S and uh, kung mag-upgrade man matagal pa, the thing is di na siguro mag -re release ang Pro. I just don't know kung mag -re release pang Microsoft ng, ng Pro version. Kunwari, mag -re release sila ng Series X Pro or Xbox Series S Pro. With this, you know, with this unit alone, Series S, your gaming needs are satisfied, no? It's just, uh, the hardware that you have, no? Again, balik kayo dun sa channel ko uh, about uh, the Series S and why I have, you know, purchases uh, instead of the Big Brother Series X. Alright, so this ends the vlog episode of Marvin Says, no? This is a short vlog, uh, five days of uh, tinkering with the uh, Series S. It made me smile. Alright, so sa mga sumusuport, maraming salamat po. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please like, share, subscribe to Marvin Says. Comment, uh, positive, negative, dislike, kung ano man, no? uh, I still would appreciate. Alright, so ingat po tayong lahat. Take care and God bless. Till next time guys.